Hello everybody and welcome to this lecture. This lecture is continuing uh, the previous lecture where we started talking about object-oriented programming in PHP. Now we're going to move a step forward and we're gonna, I'm going to introduce you to um, interfaces. Interfaces within object-oriented programming in PHP. Now an interface is basically a template for how other classes should be defined. So, the example we're going to use in this lecture is we're going to create an interface that encapsulates a vehicle. So, a vehicle is pretty vague. A vehicle can be whether, you know, a car, a plane, a bike, a train, a boat, stuff like that. Now, the reason we would want to maybe create an interface for this would be so we can know how every vehicle should be defined. So let's jump into things. So I have this file here called vehiclephp.php, sorry. And this will be our interface. So in order to declare an interface like we would a new class, all we type is interface and then the name of the interface. So instead of class, you type interface and then after that you type the name of the interface and in this case I'm using vehicle as my interface name uh, with a capital V. So within an interface you want to declare all the methods that a class implementing this interface has to have. So you know vehicles they share some common elements you know maybe they have uh, get the type, so whether it's a car, a plane, a boat, stuff like that. Maybe get the amount of seats, or get the amount of rows in the car, that rows of seats in a car, or in a vehicle, I should say. Stuff like that. So, we're basically outlining what a vehicle is. So, when we create methods that we want to use in um, in when we want to implement the interface, they have to be public. That's the nature, that's the idea behind an interface. Everything is public, so everything can be accessed freely. And, and within interfaces, you only uh, can supply constants and methods, so you can't define variables that must be used. All the variables are dependent on the specific class you're running. So, let's create a f a method here. So you say public function and then you give it a name. So how about we'll call it get type. And then instead of having an open closing curly brace, right after the parentheses you just put that semicolon. That way you aren't defining any code specifically for this this method. So let's jump into both the car and plane class plane class we're going to be using. And let's go ahead and just define those quickly. So we have class car and now in order to implement the vehicle class we have to tell it implements so class car implements and it's going to implement vehicle. So we'll do the same thing with plane as well. So class plane implements vehicle. Awesome. So now we have a car and a plane class that implement the vehicle interface. But you may be wondering how can how can PHP know to find this this file? Well, it can't. We have to include this interface somehow. So what I'm just going to do, I'm going to use include and then in quotes you put the file name. So, and this file name is relative to the current working directory. So I'm implementing or including the vehicle.php file within my car and plane classes. So now if I refresh car, we're gonna get this error that tells us it's missing missing the methods in order to uh, correctly implement this vehicle. So, in order to implement it, we simply just 
public function, get type, and now here is where we define what kind of uh, functionality the get type function would do. But since this is a car, we're going to want to return car. Okay, and same with the plane, public function get type, and this time we'll return plane. So now if I go ahead and refresh my car.php file, you're going to see there's no errors. So, if I'm on this page here, I can say car equals new car, and then I can go ahead and echo car get type. And then when I refresh, I'll see car as the type that I wanted. Good. Um, yeah. So, that's basics of uh, the, the interface. Let's move on to something more functional. So something we can compute. So let's create another method in the vehicle interface that says get uh, rows of seats. So what we're going to do, we're going to compute the amount of rows of seats inside the vehicle based on the amount of seats that we give the uh, class. So whether it's a car or whether it's a plane. So what we're going to need to do, we're going to need to create some some variables at the top. So private seats. I'll do the same here. Okay. And now the construct function, we're going to want to create one of those for each of the classes. And what we'll do we'll have it pass in the amount of seats in the vehicle. So now we just say this seats equals seats. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste that into the plane class. And now in order to make the interface work properly we need to create this public function get rows of seats. Yep, get rows of seats. Okay, so now um, we can say each a car. Okay, a car can have, you know, the first row of seats is usually two. It's got a driver and a passenger, and the and the seats before that can have three or so. All right, awesome. So, how would we compute the amount of seats within a car? or the rows of seats in a car. So, first we will create a variable in here called rows and we're going to set it equal to 1. We're going to set it equal to 1 specifically because we're guaranteed there's already at least one row of seat within a car because it has a driver and a passenger um, uh, seat, obviously. So that's one row. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take, we're going to create a new variable called the remaining seats, and we're going to set this equal to this seats minus two. And then we're just going to check if remaining seats is greater than zero. So obviously, if it was just a really fancy sports car with no back seat, there would only be one row of seats. So if the remaining seats is greater than zero, then we can re we can do rows plus equal. And what we'll do, we're going to ceiling this. So we're going to round up. Now we do remaining seats divided by three. Cool. And then in the end, we'll return rows. Okay. Now, how about for the plane? Public function get rows of seats. This one's kind of different because maybe let's just for ease of sake um, say that this plane is a relatively cheap plane and only has economy seats and it's a relatively small uh, plane. So, maybe it only has 
four row four seats per row um, and obviously we're not going to include the the captain or the the pilot and the co-pilot seat uh, generally because those aren't considered <coughs> uh, accessible seats by the average person uh, using the vehicle so what we can do here is we can just return the rounded up version of this seats divided by four alright awesome so if we refresh car whoops, I gotta put the amount of seats so let's say there's five seats and then we'll refresh and now what I'll do I will echo get rows of seats now expected we should get two rows well let's see two rows how about for a plane so let's create a new plane and let's say there's I don't know 60 60 seats on this, this small plane now we can go ahead and echo and get rows of seats so I'm gonna change this over to plane and you can see there's 15 maybe uh, we had 60, 63, so we should go up by one. The last row might only have three seats, but since we're averaging out four seats per row, we're obviously going to round up to the next number. And <coughs> a a class that implements an interface, it it can have methods that aren't defined in the interface that's fine that's perfectly fine but an interface basically is the definition of how a class should be built so when we look at a vehicle we expect to know the type of the vehicle we expect to know how many seats and how many rows of seats are in the vehicle um, there can be an endless amount so maybe we can have get number of doors so public function get doors we can go ahead and implement that now with a car it might be different because you can have you know a sedan or a coupe we're not gonna say that the the trunk is considered a door even though some cars might advertise themselves as a five door because they're a hatchback so a car might have a specific type so what we're gonna do we're gonna say type so this type equals type and when we implement it here we're gonna implement whether it's a sedan or a coupe so I'll say this one's a sedan so now if I create the public function get doors all I have to do is return well let's check if this type is equal to a sedan then we're going to turn four else we're returning two because we expect it to be a coupe and now in a plane however public function get doors there's uh... really it depends on how you look at it a door to enter um, there might just be one but would you count emergency exits as doors I probably wouldn't. So, all I'm going to say is there's only one door in a plane. So, now if I go back to the car class and echo get doors, oops, I'm on the plane, I'm going to get four. But if I change this to coupe, I'm going to get two. And if we went to the plane and echo get doors, I'm gonna get one. So this is this is sort of uh, the little gist of how interfaces uh, work within PHP and why they may be useful. Now I want to give you guys a little assignment. Uh, I've actually given this this assignment to quite a few people in the past, um, but I'm gonna change it around a bit. What I would like to see you guys do is create a a train and a passenger uh, class 
Um, I will give a link to further details on what I expect from these two classes and how they should uh, work together. Um, and hopefully I'll see some some code from you guys. It should shouldn't be shouldn't be much. Uh, probably maybe I don't know a hundred to two hundred lines of code at most. Probably even less depending on the extent I plan on going through. Uh, it might not be a train and pasture. It might be a car and a garage because I already have details written up for the car and garage. So maybe um, yeah. All right. So. If you guys plan on doing the assignment, that's fine. If you don't, that's all right. Uh, but you can, obviously, you can send me an email. Uh, it's rec at ureddit.com. Or you can send me a personal message through Reddit. And my username is WOMG. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.